Hey guys, how you doing? Um, it's your boy Mima, and um, today I'm going to be uh, reacting to Amazing Grace um, on Irish Tin Whistle. Um, this will be interesting. Um, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. I think it's the American National Anthem, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, let's get into it. Uh, let go. Okay, basically what this lyric mean Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I can't sing But what this means is This is the amazing grace of God The sound is just beautiful And he saved a wretch like you All of us are wretches All of us are sinners None of us deserve God in our lives none of us deserve God's grace but he gives it to us freely through his son Jesus Christ I, w I once was lost but now I'm found was blind now I see so now you've seen the truth of Jesus Christ and if you've accepted that he's the son of God who died for your sins rose again on the third day and you follow him you're now taken away from blindness, and now you see. <laughs> okay, now this um, lyric says, It was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved so basically the bible speaks of in proverbs right um that the fear of god is the beginning of wisdom you know and it's only by god's grace that you can even get the fear of god in you and faith in him alone The Lord has promised good to me, his word my hope, to me his word my hope secures. His word, his living word is Jesus Christ and your hope is secured in Jesus Christ if you believe in him and follow the true Jesus. Not the other Jesus which people have talked about. Some people say he's a prophet, some say he's only an angel but he is God in the flesh. If you follow that Jesus then your hope is secured in gaining eternal life in heaven.
Amen, amen. If you guys know that song, then yeah, man, um, go listen to it with like the actual vocals to it, and it might make more sense to you. But I know the song already. It's a beautiful song, great song, great song composed. Um, an amazing Christian song to this day, man. Um, praise God for all of your lives. I thank God for bringing all of you here. Um, all of you who haven't accepted Jesus Christ, you know, um, I just ask you to think about it. You know, pray to God tonight and ask him to truly reveal himself to you, you know, and let him reveal his, himself to you, not from your own understanding, but, you know, just in truth, in complete truth. And I believe he one day will. And um, I just ask you, like, if God ever reveals himself to you, if there's anything God is speaking to you right now, you know, um, obey and trust. If God is telling you to let go of that girl you keep fornicating with, let go of her. If God is telling you to stop stealing, stop stealing. You know, if God is telling you to grab the hand of Jesus Christ today, then grab his hand and follow him. You know, if God is telling you, you know, that where you are right now isn't probably the right place to be, pray about it. You know, test the spirit and, you know, follow what the word of God says, which is the Holy Bible. You know, the Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. That's all it is, basic instructions before leaving earth. You know, God made his first covenant with Abraham. And then, um, you know, I guess that's how the Jewish people, the nation of Israel was birthed. And then Israel and Messiah came and God said that chosen servant, I am he, Isaiah 43 verse 10. So God, is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the manifestation of the full Godhead in human form, you know. So basically now that Messiah has said, go out into the world, preach the gospel to every creature, everyone, Jew or Gentile, preach the gospel to them so that they may be saved and one day brought back to God. For God wills that none perish, but all come to repentance. You know, and all come under Christ because under Christ you are not condemned. But if you are not under the blood of Christ, you're automatically condemned. No matter how much of a good person you are, all of the little sins that you've committed will be used against you on judgment day. I can promise you this, you know. So, yeah, I mean, if you want eternal life, if you want to make heaven your home today, I just ask you to repeat this prayer after me. Father God. I thank you for my life today. God, I do not know you, but I want to know you. I heard of your salvation through Jesus Christ. Jesus, please come into my heart and change me from within. Forgive me for all my sins. And lead me to eternal life. Let my heart be for you and let me only follow you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, God, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, after doing that, I advise you to nurture it. Keep growing in Christ. Keep following Christ. You know, start reading the Bible and obeying it and applying that word to your life. And be faithful to God and endure till the end. And I promise, heaven will be made your home. God bless you all. Deuce.